my mouth can handle the burn. It's yeah, it's the stomach part, but yeah, it start yeah. Whoa, what is that? What's going on this there? This looks like intestine, right? How's it going, everybody? Prazi here, and welcome to Hangover Sunday. I went out last night with some friends and uh, not feeling too hot this morning. So today, I thought I would uh, go out and see if Taijong can save me. Because I went out on Google and I searched, you know, Taiwanese hangover food cures. We're gonna try one of those things because have a look at how beautiful it is today. I really kind of want to enjoy the day rather than be beat down by the booze. And look who's in my house but Mr. Kole Fogele from a Healthy Balance. A Healthy Balance! A Healthy Balance! <laughs> Save me. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are you with spicy food? Uh, my mouth likes it, my stomach usually rejects it, but I still eat it. <laughs> That's what I'd say about spicy food. For my Western viewers, hot pot is soup that sits at a gentle boil awaiting the various thinly cut raw ingredients that you can add to the pot, and it's crazy popular around here these days. People have been enjoying it for roughly eight or nine hundred years since its inception in probably Mongolia. It's particularly popular in winter time because the warmth of the soup, honestly, it gives off a really cozy feeling to enjoy with friends at the table. You imagine like a thick snowfall on Christmas Eve as you dig into a turkey dinner with your family. It's kind of, it's kind of like that. If you have any doubts as to how much people enjoy hot pot, here's a fun fact. The Qing Dynasty's Qianlong Emperor loved hot pot so much, he ate it every single fucking day. Oh, another fun fact that might be useful to you is that hot pot might be called shabu shabu in Taiwan if it's prepared in the much loved Japanese style. All right, so we are here at the very famous restaurant in Taichung called Ding Wang, or in English it would be the Ding King. Ding! The Ding King. <laughs> They're famous for their malatang, which is spicy hot pot. And we ordered dala, which means big spicy. It's the, not the spiciest you can get, but it should just be enough to get the job done. You said that your your stomach doesn't really handle spicy food. My, my st I mean, it's I'm building a tolerance to it. I think my mouth can handle the burn. It's yeah, it's the stomach part, but it start yeah. Whoa, what is that? What's going on this there? This looks like intestine, right? Pork intestine. Okay. Wow. Okay. So this stuff usually has like a really sort of not a fermented taste, but you can definitely tell when you put it in your mouth that that's intestine. You want to go in for a little. I feel like I want to find an intestine because I, I generally will not eat this kind of food. Okay. Um, but I'm open-minded to. I mean, I did eat rat, so I mean, if I could eat rat, I think I could handle intestine. Mm -hmm. Is that the weirdest um, thing you've ever eaten? Yes. Rat is the weirdest thing I've ever eaten. It's probably worth mentioning that if you're blind to sarcasm, Cole seldom drinks, and I'm actually the one with an intensifying hangover, which really, it wasn't helping with the filming process. That's right, and it, you know, I think if you live your life in moderation, alcohol, fast food, any of those things, it's fine, but as soon as you start making it a daily thing, then it becomes problematic. Have you had this to nurse a hangover before? Because I know you're not really a big drinker, right? So... Um, yeah, I, this is the first time I've ever, I think, had hot pot as a hangover cure. But I, I understand the premise. Because it's, you know, when you wake up and you have a hangover, you might have a bit of a headache. And malatang, or spicy hot pot, especially if they use Sichuan spice, the numbing spice, I'm sure you've had that before, where it kind of numbs your tongue. Uh -huh. That will overcome any headache. Your face will explode. But to the point where, like, you don't really feel the headache anymore because I just suddenly had an image of my face exploding. That's what it's like eating Sichuan food. Are these mushrooms ready? Yeah, those are definitely ready. I love these stringy mushrooms. So I always thought like when, yeah, like if you've had too much to drink, water is always a good thing You should to definitely do. be drinking water. We don't have any water here, I just realized. And it's tea. But earlier today we met up and you were drinking coconut water, which I think would be another really nice hydrating thing to have. If you want, so I'm taking Taiwanese advice on how to get rid of a hangover. But advice I give to all of you who have hangovers, coconut water yeah. has all of the vitamins and things in it that, 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 that you've lost. It's a natural electrolyte. Yeah. This is um, like bread, like yeah. dried bread. But and this will in suck there. up the spice. Yeah, these, these will blow your face up too. Yeah, so I almost feel like I want to do yeah, that. Yeah, dunk that shit in there. And I'm going to take that. Mm -hmm. 
That's probably going to kill me right there. Well, you're just going to have it just like that. Yeah. It's still crispy. So the longer you leave it in, it's yeah. soggier. I like it crispy. Ooh, that crunch. You can really taste the spice. Um, Is that heavy? With the spice? I'm tasting it the most right now on this. Um, yeah, this kind of spice is the kind of spice that like, because there's a there's a numbing spice and then a burning spice, and this one's numbing and burning right now. I get that. Oh yeah. I bet you can feel the booze pouring out of your pores right now. This will scare off any of the leftover alcohol. It just wants out of your body. You gotta sweat it all out. Yeah. So I'm starting to get that feeling in my mouth and and, and around my eye area kind of things start to go a little bit dizzy. How are you feeling? Well, I'm getting like, I remember like what Wes was saying, why he likes spicy food. Maybe you can relate to this. He gets that euphoric kind of like, there's something spice does that it almost like... I makes, find it's a makes very you more present. It's a very <laughs> visceral experience. It brings you. So I I often find a little, I feel a little bit out of myself, a little bit gone, a little bit daydreamy. Yeah, like that's I'm how I'm really feeling here. right now. But I find hot pot brings you right back to the table because there's so much going on with oh, your mouth. Okay. It makes you so present. You're just dealing with this this pain. But Sorry. it's better. Yeah. Be present. It says like the. I love that we're so we're discussing this on your video. We're not very present people, apparently, when Swedish YouTubers interview us. I don't remember the question. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Krazy really did do that in your West video. West, too! So, I think... What was the question again? We've just put in the beef. Now, this is, I think, everybody's favorite part of Hot Pot is the meat. I could be wrong. Comment down below. Do you like the vegetables more? Or do you like the meat more? Um, I'm a meatman. I love meat. And this is how I judge Hot Pot restaurants, is their quality of the meat. It's very thin. It's not something that we would typically eat in the West. And the idea of boiling meat is so weird to foreigners. We How do you feel about hot pot? Are you a hot pot fan? Again, I, I used to not really like it. I couldn't understand it. Why am I cooking my own food? I'm doing the cook's work for him. But the longer I've stayed in Taiwan, the more I really enjoy it. And I'm really starting to see this as an, an actual, very effective hangover here. I'm feeling really better. I thought I was one with the hangover. Uh, yeah. But now you said you're you, feeling better. How do you feel now? I, I feel like I didn't have a hangover <laughs> now that I've had this food. Like, what hangover did I have? <laughs> Try the beef here. Oh, really tender. Very tender, it's very uh, succulent. Is that a succulent, good word? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't have the chewiness that a normal cut of beef would have. It just sort of melts into your tongue. Now, talking about the beef, this is, I've never tasted beef quite like this before. It's not, it does, the texture is very odd. It's good, but it's not like how you would imagine beef would be like. It's kind of slippery. Not a lot of chew to it. You can almost swallow it right when it goes into your mouth. Very tender. Lovely. Yeah. Um, like I said, it's marbled really well, so that fat is just going to melt into the meat. I mean, if that was a steak, I imagine that would be a fucking expensive cut. It might be, yeah. So as a... Um, Lifelong alcoholic from the age of three. How do you feel about this as a hangover cure? Well, I feel like I had a very mild hangover almost like I didn't have one okay. But if I had a massive hangover, I think it's so spicy you forget that you have a hangover is what I would say about it I think yeah, I think what happens is that you start to sweat and your pores open up and When I'm hungover, I feel like I just want this toxin out and it's just like running through your head, through your body, and you can just feel it kind of steaming, and it's, it's a horrible feeling being hungover. I, it's amazing how you can ex you, you're able to express the feeling of it while not experiencing it right now. I feel... I just, you know, I've had a hangover once or twice in my life, but that's more Cole's expertise. I didn't mean to steal your thunder. But hot pot, especially spicy hot pot, makes you sweat, and it pulls and it draws that toxic feeling out of your body. It's really, this is surprising. Well done, Taiwan. All right, out of 10, how would you give Ding Wong Hot Pot, the Ding King? How would I give the Ding King out of 10? I need to think for a second there. You gotta be careful, because Ta Taichung people would give it like a 10 out of 10. This place is like there. Everybody in this city knows Ding Wong, I think. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Okay. For the overall experience. flavor and taste and experience. I'm gonna give it an 8.5. This is really oh, good. Okay. And I think if you come to Taichung, this is a must try. It is a little on the pricey side. Um, I'll put how much we spend once we get the check somewhere on the screen here. Um, however, if you you know are looking for a little bit of fine dining, something that I think is special to the city of Taichung, 
I'd recommend this. This is not bad at all. So, so I would take, like, my wife you said love, she likes spicy. loves spicy more than I do. This is a perfect date idea. I would take her here definitely Absolutely. for in Taijiang. Yeah, for sure. If you want to follow me on Instagram and catch my day-to-day -day life, you can follow me at Prazi underscore SR. You can follow him on Instagram at Cole Fogel. Cool. C O L E F O G L E, but he might put the. I'll put it up there. Uh, if you want to support the channel, that'd be cool. Uh, get over to Patreon.com and support it. And yeah, other than that, keep it sticking, guys. Catch you guys on the next one. How's it going, everybody? Uh, just before I let you guys go, I got a message from one of you, a subscriber, a long time subscriber, who was asking for some help. And he basically explained that he has unfortunately lost his job due to COVID and has been separated from his family and uh, his stepdaughter has some mental health issues and almost lost her life and I guess they're struggling to kind of pay some of those bills and he has a GoFundMe page which I'll link down at the bottom. Uh, I know times are tough but if you could help that would be great. Anyways, thanks guys.